Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also I'm an expert in fitness machines. And I've got a treadmill here and it's, I'm just going to explain to you about recalibrating treadmills um, because it's something that's quite useful uh, to overcome problems. So if you have, if you have a fault, for example, then quite often recalibrating the machine is the, the, one of the first things you can try and it's something you can do yourself. And it usually involves pressing certain buttons whilst inserting the safety key. So for example, some manufacturers might say, well, press the start button and the speed up button and press and hold them and put the safety key on. And then that gets you into an en what they call an engineering mode or a recalibration mode. And then you can page through the various aspects of that and set press start or press enter, those kind of things to actually initiate a recalibration sequence. And basically the recalibration sequence is the machine resetting itself uh, so it remeasures things like speed parameters and the, the incline or the elevation heights and it, it sort of measures and resets that data and stores that data into memory and because it's basically a computer in there the data that's stored in there can sometimes get corrupt um, there's nothing you can do about that it, it's the way computers are so sometimes for example if if you were to inadvertently switch the machine off whilst the computer here is trying to write the data to a particular memory location and all of a sudden the power goes, well that can give you corrupt data which, which can lead to a, a problem uh, which a recalibration will solve. Also things like lightning strikes nearby, power surges, those kind of things can also disrupt the electronics uh, and cause data corruption which, which can, can lead to this becoming uh, uh, you know, something that's worth trying. Um, so if you get anything like that, so if you get issues with speed or the inclines perhaps not working or not going fully up or, or the machine is suggesting that you need to call an engineer or do something like that, it's always worth looking in the instruction book to see whether there is a recalibration sequence or indeed talking to the retailer or the manufacturer to say, look on my particular model, is there a recalibration sequence that I can do um, that will avoid me having an engineer to come out? Um, and uh, quite often you'll find that there is um, and it's always worth a go because you know you might get lucky and that might fix the problem